I'd like to introduce you to Spaceship One. This is the first private manned spacecraft. Everything you'll see is designed to put humans in space. The manned captive carry flight of Spaceship One is a full rehearsal for its first solo test flight. You know, we set out back uh, six, seven years ago to try and get people to think about a different type of capability. The technology isn't the issue, it's the way people think about space, and that's really the goal. Hard of course getting off the ground sometimes. How's the ride, Mike? Lovely. As Rutan moves closer to his dream of barnstorming space, his greatest challenges still lie ahead. Couldn't be better. Rock solid. Okay, go on. After the success of Spaceship One's manned captive carry flight, Bert Rutan turns his attention to the hybrid rocket it needs to get to space. Two months after Space Dev's first test fire, the second company in Rutan's rocket competition, EAC, fires their hybrid motor. This particular motor, compared to Space Dev's, uh, the components have had a lot more actual live fire testing. So it should be a lower risk than the other one. But we'll see. Very key to opening these things. In addition to measuring thrust, today's test evaluates the heat emitted by the rocket motor. Oh. You got a steak? Gotta have buns. This time we're getting some uh, representative samples to look at radiant heating from the plume, too, so we have aircraft structure down there, as well as some t-shirts and a little bit of campfire food. Perfect. NASA has never generated that data. As we understand, we've done an internet search, and there's absolutely no data on what it takes to cook a hot dog next to a rocket plume, and so we're going to find out today. Are we going to be able to eat these marshmallows afterwards? Uh, yeah. Now, at seven and a half seconds, everybody's got to rush in and turn the weenies around. <laughs> yeah. Show over there. So. Okay, outstanding. Can we go look at the food? <laughs> the resounding success is countered by tragedy. During the first flight of his home built plane, Scaled's propulsion coordinator, Dave Thompson, crashes and dies. It is a brutal reminder of the dangers of flying. The night before Spaceship One's first solo flight, Bert Rattan and the Scaled Composites team gather around their creation. This is static pressure right here. Aerodynamicist Jim Tai shares some of his most recent predictions for tomorrow's flight. My job is determining how the airplane's gonna fly, how high it's gonna go, how fast it's gonna go, uh, what sort of forces are gonna be imparted upon the airplane. Elevator's half effect staff. Yeah. So if you have one degrees nose up, staff, and 10 degrees nose down, that's 10 divided by two is five, minus one is four. So it's effectively four degrees of stab and goes down before you launch. I'm not going to move the stick at all for the first three or four seconds. No. Mike Melville will pilot the first flight of Spaceship One. He constructed the first plane built from one of Bert's kits while still a machinist in Indiana. He and his wife Sally flew to Mojave to show it to Bert and became Rutan's first full-time employees. It's very stressful to be married to a Des Ballard. <laughs> Uh, you know, did you hear that thing ring throughout the building? <laughs> wow. What I personally do, the way I cope with it is I have to build up um, a wall. I build up a wall. How the heck you get in here, guys? Tomorrow, Mike will drop from 47,000 feet in a plane that has never been flown. No one knows for sure if it will even fly. We don't know, you know, the spaceship has not been in a wind tunnel. If this was Boeing or somebody like that, by the time they would fly it, which would be years from now, they would know exactly how it would fly. Practice all you want there. Doesn't do anything. Okay, what about the nose thing to try to... The handle is right here, right? I personally put a lot of faith in Bert's ability to predict how it's going to work. Prior to flying, he'll always sit down, he and I, and he'll tell me how he thinks it's going to fly, and he's never been wrong. Jim Tai's computer analysis predicts that Spaceship One will fly perfectly tomorrow. Just in case, 
They review the bailout procedure. What you want to do is duck your head and throw your body out. Yeah. If you're in a spin, it's going to throw you out as soon as you let go of the belt. So you'd go out like that. You know, well, no, no, just put out. Well, you, yeah, exactly. So you just be, just go out like that. This morning, the team at Scaled Composites faces what may be the most dangerous first flight in the company's history. Okay, good morning. It's 7.24-ish. 5.24-ish. <laughs> <laughs> what day is it? 7.24 in Wichita. We're here for the spaceship one first flight. The uh, weather has improved over the forecast. The satellite photo shows all the stuff hanging over the field is uh, moved out to the east. I've had any number of people, guys as well as women, come to me and say, well, how can you let him do that? I don't believe I have the right to tell him what he can and can't do, even if it is, even if I think it is high risk and life threatening and whatever. I mean, this is his ultimate joy. Sally worries a lot, my wife, and uh, she seems to worry a lot more now as we both have got older. Uh, and, you know, recently we had a, an accident with one of our guys last week, and that's really brought it home to everybody. You know, we never dreamed we'd lose that guy. My horseshoe Michael gave me when I was 17 years old. He had it made and it has our names and the date when we met. And so it's just been something special between us. It's my good luck charm. Okay, I'm ready to go. Attention all aircraft. Uh, weather, we got calm winds. Our temperature is 3004, temperature is 71 miles per hour. Looking for takeoff clearance? I think this is the most hazardous flight we've ever tried to do. One, two, for white night, uh, we're set upstairs. Roger, cup. And Bahari traffic, white night's on the roll. We've never, ever taken an airplane and dropped it from up in the sky, having not done any flying on it at all. Off we go into the wild blue yonder, huh? Here we are. White Knight ascends to 47,000 feet, 10,000 higher than a jetliner, before releasing Spaceship One. 102, 40,000, You all set back there, Corey? Yeah, I'm all set. Okay. Gun scatter? Gun go for one. 16. B 16 is on. Stand by for countdown. On my mark, three, two, one, mark. It's a wave. It's a clean, clean break. Feels like a clean break. Positive separation. Can you see anything, Brian? Oh, they're there. Hey, the airplane flies pretty nice. Okay, trimming now to zero, stick four, takes quite a bit of nose up trim. Flies like a dream. Damn, that's a good airplane. Yeah, the release was uh, definitely zero G. I was surprised. I had some things float up and hit the roof. And, uh, one two from scum. Let me show you green for landing. Copy that. Gear to go. Gear's coming. Gear's coming. There's the gear. I heard them all. Looks like free green from here. Touches. Chase planes give Mike eyes outside the ship to help him land safely. Three, one. <laughs> that was so sweet. I love you so much.